1370 bucks. What was I thinking? He said this is the biggest facility of, for public storage in the entire country. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that. Oh, this would have been way more expensive if they had seen this. They meaning the other bidders. This thing would have been way expensive, and that's a sideshow. <gasps> We spent a lot on this locker, but one of those boxes could put us in the profit, and we've got four. Minimum four. Oh, Iron Man. Legendary skill bust. I'm hoping these are real. Made in China. Get out of here. That's not real. Oh, there's Pokemon cards in there. What is this? Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> look at this. <gasps> they work for YouTube. Yes. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, I bought a unit online. Let me show you what it looks like. This is it right here, storagetreasures.com. A lot of you know that site. Maybe some of you have bought from it as well. Um, this one's 1370 bucks. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? All right, I don't know. It's just a little five by five. It's in Burlingame, California. It's a very high wealth area. Very high wealth, okay? Let me show you the pictures right here. You guys make up your mind if I should have spent that much or not, right? There's a couple Air Jordan boxes right there. I'm not super interested in that. I'm not really into shoes. I kind of wish those weren't in there because I think that it tends to drive up the price. People go crazy for these Air Jordans. Seven youth, not a great size. We want adult sizes. Those are youth sizes. But uh, there's some interesting boxes here. We're going to get to that in just a second. This stroller right here, this is the, it looks nice, but the brand is Summer. I don't think that's particularly expensive. I looked them up. It's not even over 100 bucks. I think. I might be wrong, but what's this right here? Look at this. Is that a cash box? That looks like a little keyhole right there. It could also be a couple binders, you know. Uh, this right here says pile. Is that pile driver? Like speaker, high-end speakers? I don't know. But, 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 look at this. Sideshow collectibles. Sideshow collectibles. This is very good. This right here is why I bought the locker. This right here, Master Replicas, Obi-Wan Lightsaber. These are good boxes. And there's other boxes here too, right? What's this right here? Don't know. Don't know. This could be something. Probably not. But this could be something. Uh, there's some totes down here. Let's look at a couple other uh, angles. This up here, I think, is a DJ mixer table or something right there. It's a Hercules. I think it's a mixer. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Something about discovery. We're going to discover what it is here in just a little bit because I'm about to hop in the car. But up here, black thing looks like a pumpkin made for Halloween. Uh, that's fine. We can sell Halloween right now. But this sideshow right here, that's what I'm after. And the Master Replica is also very interesting. Right here on eBay, I've pulled up Master Replica's Obi-Wan lightsaber. $190, bucks, $200, bucks, $125, $100. $100. Okay, but then look at this. $900, bucks, guys. $900 bucks on that. And this one right here, $850. Bucks. This is some decent values, of course. Then here's one for a hundred bucks. Um, you know, there's something for four grand, sixteen hundred. There's some potential here. And then right here, sideshow collectibles. This one, look at this, three hundred eighty-five, nineteen hundred. Well, best offer taken, but three hundred fifteen. These are sold prices, guys. These are not, you know, pie in the sky asking prices. This is sold prices. Eleven forty-eight, almost three hundred, but best offer. 500 for the Hulk right there, Gray Hulk. 600 for Catwoman. 650 for Red Hulk. And then we got 250 for Sabretooth. Okay, 550 best offer on Wolverine. So, but good prices, right? Let's see what the most expensive one sold was. Gonna go up here, sort by highest first. 4,500 bucks. Hulk versus Spider Man. 3,500 best offer. 3,400 best offer. 3,000 Michael Myers Halloween. 3200 Wolverine 29 this is good right this is good there is some potential but <laughs> but there's also potential those boxes are empty right those things could be displayed in the house and you put the empty boxes he or she put the empty boxes in the storage that is a big chance right they could have like a beautiful display case where do we put the boxes oh collectors don't throw boxes away they go in maybe a storage right so it's a risk it's a risk we took a gamble here 1370 plus fees there's 10 percent fees so we've got well over 1500 bucks in this thing 
and it's about an hour away. All right, well, you know what? We, the only way we're going to find out is to get over there and look in those boxes. Are you guys ready? I'll tell you, I'm pumped. I'm sure you can tell by my voice. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's get over there and find out. It's locker time. Alright guys, we're here. Alright, let's go inside, pay, and then uh, we're going to be in that thing in just a few minutes. I'm excited. Okay guys, I got to show you this place. Well, first of all, look out here. I guess it's not that impressive, but um, this is just, this is the second building, the second facility. They have a whole other facility, and the one thing I wanted to show you was that it's just, is super quiet. There's like nobody here. This is uh, basically Silicon Valley. We're in Burlingame. This is just south of San Francisco. Basically, high tech capital of the world, you know, Silicon Valley is. Um, this is very big companies here. The land is extremely expensive. Um, so they have this facility. He just told me, I said, Whoa, this is big. I'm going to show you in a second. He said, This is the biggest facility for public storage in the entire country. Look at this. This is, this is the second building. Look at the size of this. Row after row after row. 4,200 units or something like that. Wow. He said oh, there's a lot of lockers. Lockers meaning the little tiny closet sized ones. You know, they double decker them. Each of those count as a, an address basically. Um, but yeah, ginormous facility right here. And he said they're building one in Cupertino, which is just maybe like, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 miles from here. That will then be the biggest. And then there's another one they're building in the South Bay. And once that's completed, that will then be the largest in the country. Three of them right here in the Bay Area. Here we are. A558, this locker right here. All right. Just got my crystal light. Got my GoPro batteries. And we got the mystery right here. All right, you guys ready? Okay, he already opened it. I already saw in it, but I want you guys to see in it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It looks good, right? It looks just like the photo. It's kind of funny, though, because uh, they didn't really show that much of what's back here. They should have got, like, up here. There's a whole second row here. We saw that little couch, but... All right. Look at this. Look at this. We j I know we just showed the photos. So we're not going to like scan around too much. Let's just kind of start digging in. We've got a few hours here before they close. I'm not in a rush to get on the road because at this point traffic is terrible. Really, really bad. Oh, okay. I thought that might be a cash box. I don't know why it looked like a... Yeah, kind of looks like a key. It is not a key. That's... What is this? Newmark X6. Ooh, that looks expensive. I don't know. 24-bit digital mixer. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Really cool. And this, I thought maybe was like instructions or something. It's not. It's heavy. Pile. All right. I don't know. I'll pull it out in a second. I need both hands for that. I'm going to put this uh, GoPro on my chest harness in just a sec. All right. Look at that. Looking very nice, even though they're 7 youth. Yeah, they are used, but they're in nice condition. They kept care of them, that's for sure. That's a nice looking shoe right there. What's this one? Seven youth. Oh, this is a girl's. Um, those are pretty dang sweet. My kids, I think, are too old for this, or their feet are too big for this. That's too bad. One of my girls might want that. Four eight seven two one 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 two zero. Yep, that's the number in there. So those are very nice. They look like they're worn only a couple times. Well, maybe a little more, but. Beautiful condition, guys. That's good. And overall, I say this is a very good sign because they keep care of their stuff, right? They keep care of their stuff. Sandwich toasters, Hamilton Beach. Wait, it doesn't look like it's ever opened. It's a toaster, I think. Hmm. 
looks like it's been cut a few times and this is another reason why I went hard on this this is an expensive lock right here I don't know if master is an especially good lock but this little guy right here is expensive I think it's probably like 30 bucks someone who buys a little better lock buys a little better things okay guys um moment of truth slideshow master replicas that's why we bought it that's what we're excited about this is that stroller ah, this doesn't feel like a hundred dollar stroller that feels like a nice stroller Oh, oh, Diamond Comic Distributors. This would have been way more expensive if they had seen this. They meaning the other bidders. If that would have shown in the photos, this thing would have been way expensive. And that's a sideshow. Oh, it said Discovery. I didn't know what that meant. Maybe it means nothing. This means something. Oh, yeah. Vampirella. Vampirella premium. Oh, oh, please don't be empty. That's the next thing we got to find out. Is it empty? All right, guys. I, I thought we had two boxes with a lot of potential. We now have four boxes with a lot of potential. Diamond comic distributors. Dang. I'm so happy right now. All right, guys. We spent a lot on this locker, but one of those boxes could put us in the profit, and we've got four. Minimum four. Four that we can see. Please don't be empty. Please don't be empty. Please don't be empty. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got. Let's take a look at this pile. Hmm, what is that? Some sort of little stand, I think. Maybe for a laptop. Could be. Or maybe for this. Actually, probably for that. Yeah, it's meant for something heavy. I, I want to get. I want to get in all this, but I want to see what's in here first. It's it's not empty, guys. It's heavy. And I see something right here. Oh, Iron Man. Legendary skill bust. I'm definitely not going bust on this. This is good. For Al, from your admirer. All right, let's take this out when we get home. And you guys can see right now what it looks like. All right, guys. Here it is out of the box. Uh, or at least the box is out of the box. There's the back side. But first, check this out. Down here... That says 133 of 400. I'm not sure if that really is indication that there's only 400 of these made. And this is number 133. I sure hope it is because that's very low circulation. And I'd say, I would like to say this thing's got some weight to it. Oh, man. Hey, what's this? Sideshow Collectibles Volume 9. Sealed brand new. Hmm. I guess it's kind of like a catalog. Okay, looks like the tape was cut before. It was open, not a big surprise there. Who wouldn't open it if you bought something this cool? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Yes! Look at that! Oh, wow. Neat. There's his mask. Nice. A little plate to go on the front. Iron Man, in case you don't know who he is. This is something very, very cool. Look at this. Nice. Very nice. Very detailed and very heavy. Surprisingly heavy. There it is. Yep. 144 out of 400. Okay. Legendary scale bus. Sideshow exclusive. I don't know what exclusive means. I think that means it's uh, only available from their company. I don't know. So this piece here... I think just goes right there, I guess. I don't know. There. Looks like it almost fits into something, but I don't see what, so... I would just set it right in front there. And then we got the mask. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, but it's got magnets to hold it in place. See, like, a little blemish right there. See that? A little blemish right there. That's too bad. And it looks like that was in the manufacturing process. A little blemish. Oh well, it is what it is. It doesn't look like damage. It looks more like it was in the making of it. Dang, you guys, that is a really, really cool piece. All right, let's go look at the values. All right, here is what I'm seeing for sold. Right here, eBay, $400, but it says best offer accepted, so we can pretty much assume it's sold for less than $400. And this is our same item right here. Let's just look at the photos, make sure. Wow, they didn't even take it out of the box to photograph it. Interesting. Okay. Well, they're saying it's new. Maybe it was. Maybe it was open. Who knows? 
New and never displayed. Open once for inspection. Okay, well, they didn't even open it for the photos, but whatever. Everyone lists a little differently. Um, then down here, we have some other stuff here, but this is not the same. Uh, out of 400, I'm surprised we even found one that was the same. They're not very common, right? I'm so tempted to keep it, but I just don't have a place for it, nor do I have uh, <laughs> a uh, consensus on that in the family here. So um, there is another one right here, a 400, 313, a 400. They're asking 650 on that. Here's another one. Looks the same, and but it doesn't even say a 400 or anything. 247, that's in France. All right, so there's a couple other ones that are for sale. Same stuff. Oh, wow, look at Rhino right there. Awesome. So let's check Worth Point. Worth Point goes back a lot farther in their comps. So I put in Sideshow Exclusive Iron Man Legendary Scale Bust. It looks like there's a newer version. It's called the Stealth Iron Man that they made, and that's what we're seeing here, the first few listings, Stealth Iron Man. This right here looks to be the same as ours. Yep. 400 oh wow that's 143 what's ours 144 i think so that's a very good comp but it's only 130 bucks so i it was open only to verify condition and then stored away never displayed i do not have the original brown mailer well we do we do have the brown mailer so yeah that's our guy very cool wonder if he's got the same little defect in the visor interesting i don't see the little defect in the visor it would be up here or up here right well, I'm going to call that out when I list mine, but I'm not listing mine for no 130. So we're going to try to get a little bit more. And honestly, I don't even care if it sells because I really like it. There's another one right here, 120. That's back in the year 2020. This might be the same right here, 220 in 2020. This is, looks to be the same right here. And that is 250 in 2019. These look, these look very similar to what we have. It might be the exact same. So we're looking at 150, we're looking at 300, this one says 149, this is 224, it looks like the same photo. So go figure, this might be the same, no, that's signed by Stan Lee right there, so that's definitely not a good comp. This one's 170, so anyways, I'll probably list mine, I don't know, maybe like 350 and let it sit a while, because like I said, I don't even really care if it sells right away. I really like it, I wish I had a place for it, I'd keep it, but um, I'm definitely finding other stuff that I'm more likely to keep even though I keep almost nothing okay <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so so far so good so far so good what is this Ivation. oh okay foot spa I, I saw that in the video and yeah I mean in the photos and I'm not I'm not you know I don't buy lockers for that let me just put it that way <laughs> all right we don't buy lockers for those, even though after maybe a day at the flea market we could use that. I don't need to buy a locker for that. Okay, this definitely does appear to be sealed. Let's open it and see what's in there. Opening it for the first time, guys, it's like Christmas. Yep, 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 toaster. That's pretty decent. Oh man. That is a heavy-duty, serious business trunk right there. There could be something good in there. Oh, oh, handbags. Gianna's gonna be happy now. Come on. Oh, it's got Hello Kitty, and this is leather. <laughs> oh, I'm digging this locker, guys. This is a fun locker. Okay, it's also not empty. Oh, 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 oh. look at this. Are those Funko Pops or what? Oh, that's the guy from Up. The kid from Up. I think those are Funko Pops. And display boxes. What's this? What is that, Green Lantern? Hmm, huh. I bet you, I don't know. I was gonna say, I bet you it's from like Stranger Things or something. Did he have a Green Lantern shirt? Maybe. Fingerless gloves. Oh, Hello Kitty, heck yes. <laughs> Better than regular fingerless gloves. Elf Zit Zapper. Zit Zapper. Oh, look what else is in here, guys. Yes, that's a burner. Yes, I'm easily amused. Easily. Easily amused. Easily made happy. <laughs> right, maybe not that easy, but this locker is making me happy already, that's for sure. Oh, show. Okay, some little 
manicuring stuff, a little manicure set there. All right. Puncher backpack's cool. Old Navy jacket. It's pretty well worn. That's probably gonna just go to Stockton. There's something brand new. Brand new with tags. Joseph. Looks like a Target, um, Target or Walmart or Walmart. I'm not sure. This looks like it's brand new too. Maybe not. I think it is. It's got the cardboard in it still. Oh, whoa, guys, look at this. We've got more Nike Air Jordans right here. With the... Uh, it's got... Okay, I see some problems with that one, though. I see a tear. I see a tear. What's got in here, though? Yeah, the boot. Got some flip-flops. What's this? There's some Jordans. All right. These ones have definitely been used. Air Jordan. 136027-108. Yeah, okay, those are okay. Those are a little bit more used. Or a lot more used. Mossino. Shoes, Mossmo. Moss something. Whoa. Okay. Look at this. Look at all these Air Jordans right here. I'm assuming there's multiple pairs. Okay, that's a nice one right there. That is nice. I'm hoping these are real. Those are not real. Made in China. Get out of here. That's not real. Dang it. Are these ones real? Because those ones are pretty. But I don't think so. Because look at this right here. See that tearing? I don't think... No. I don't, I don't think so. It doesn't feel right. You know, made in China. Dang it, these are knockoffs. There's another one. Made in China. Another knockoff. Dang it. These ones feel real. Uh, I don't know, though. Those ones look like they might be real. Be real, be real. 136046102 is the number. I think those ones are real. What does that say? I don't even know what this is. I don't know. Those ones feel good too. 136055001. Is that the right number? Okay. What are these? And ones. Okay. Are those worth anything? I don't know. This one. This one. Whoa, this one's shrink wrapped. Are those new? They don't usually shrink wrap them like that when they're new, do they? Those are China. Dang it. Dang it. Boy, those look real, though. <laughs> okay, well, still, even the fakies will probably sell because people will want to wear those where they might collect the real ones, you know? So, kind of interesting. Straight up, though, that is one big bag of clickbait right there. <laughs> the locker clickbaited me. Rusties. Well, Lightning McQueen car. That is neat. Does something. Kitty Land, it says. What's here? Radiology technology. I won't be surprised if they worked in the tech field because this is technology area. This is Silicon Valley. The human body. Maybe they're doctors or something. Silly string. Oh! oh. That's sealed. Is it really? No, they haven't even opened that. Oh, how fun. I haven't played with those in a long time. I'm not even sure my kids have ever even seen those. Oh, that's good. We'll use that. It's cords, cables, whatever. Well, th now that we've uncovered more of this box right here, that's fairly large. I wonder if there's a guitar or something like that in there. Okay, that's heavy, whatever's in here. A little bit heavier. And look at this. Bunch of plush, but it's mostly... Hello Kitty. Yeah, that's cool. Yogurt Land. Bunch of Hello Kitty Sanrio stuff. Oh, there's a little Sebastian. It's in, uh, whatever. I forget that. Finding Nemo fish. So, um, that could be some Disney stuff too. There's a Cars. A little couch for a kid. That's neat. That'll definitely sell at the flea market. Definitely. Without a doubt. Oh man, I want to get in here. I want to see what's in there. I want to get in here. I want to do everything. I, I'm being a little impatient with myself right now. Ryan's mystery play date. And there's a winder here. 
What does it do? Okay. Oh, I see some Legos in there. Who's that guy? Oh, man. A little froggy. The toy box. I feel like stuff's gonna fall out if I play with it too much. Portable air conditioner fan. It's like brand new too. <laughs> it is brand new. Portable air conditioner fan. Hmm. Could have used that a couple weeks ago when the temperature was like 100 degrees. Not today. Today is the first day of fall. I'm not sure when you guys will be watching this video, but I'm running about a month behind on videos. Probably more like five weeks, but... Oh, there's a bunch of Pokemon stuff in here. Meaning these things right here. Uh, I don't remember what those things... Oh, there's Pokemon cards in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Sandshrew and e Executor, but this one's got a little dimple in it. The Sandshrew looks pretty nice. 2019, okay. Yeah, that's good, guys. There's a bunch of toys, too. Lightning McQueen. There's nothing in there. I have a feeling this is store other toys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not in there, but that's a neat piece. What's this? Tractor. What is this? Oh, look at this. Control X1 tractor. Some other kind of mixer right here. Stuff does not feel cheap, guys. This feels ex like expensive, heavy, expensive. I'm not familiar with this kind of stuff. I did look this guy up right here. This Hercules. Ah, oh, this is light. <laughs> Bummer. It's not terribly expensive. Um, but I did look that up online just to see, you know, see what was in here, what the potential is. And that's, it's got a little money, but I've never really found any, like, good DJ stuff. Yeah, just the box. Okay. So if I'm going to have some empty boxes, I wouldn't mind that being it. I just don't want the sideshow boxes to be empty, you know what I mean? These are the important ones right here. Okay. What is this thing? Fleece pocket shawl. A fleece pocket shawl. That almost sounds like Feliz Navidad. Feliz pocket shawl. Feliz pocket shawl. Police pocket show keep you warm as long as you're at home. Wait, this is uh Italy. Maybe Italy right here. What is this? They're, they're taped together. I think these are scarves or something. Dennis Basso Basso. Oh here's another one. Dennis Basso. Oh, that's a really pretty scarf. And you know what? It's super duper s soft. Like that is ridiculously soft. I wonder how much that stuff is. Dear friend, I am so pleased you've chosen one of my designs for your personal wardrobe. <laughs> Actually, I didn't, dude. I just came with the locker. But, yeah, it's still cool. Props to you. Making nice stuff. Okay, that said made in Italy. That's just a bag. They click baiting this again. Dennis Basso. Unless Dennis is in uh, Italy. Basso. Could be. Some nice scarves, guys. The scarves and some of this stuff will go into our live auctions. We do them every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. And I know a lot of you watch my channel. Oh, right now, rolling your eyes saying, geez, it's in it again. Yes, we have to fit it in every time. I don't know. This might be your first video watching, and you're like, what do you mean live auction? What are you talking about, locker notes? Please explain. It's every Monday at 5. Oh, look at this. <gasps> they work for YouTube. Oh, and this is, okay, North End. I thought it was North Face. Calm down. Calm down, locker notes. It's ladies, and I don't care. This is nice, yo. Ladies, black, medium. It's heck of nice. This is probably a promo they give to some of their employees, right? Am I completely assuming here? Am I putting too much together? It's embroidered with the YouTube logo. I think they work for YouTube. YouTube's headquarters is like 15 minutes from here, guys. No joke. Ooh, that's nice. San Francisco, a little Giants jacket. I think it's Giants, right? It's Giants colors. Majestic. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Heck, yeah. Extra large. That's good. Oh, North Face. Small Petite. That's a North Face vest. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's why I guess I thought North Face. I thought they only said North Face. I must have seen that logo. Subliminally implanted in my brain. QVC style. Okay. Sweater. It's getting to be sweater weather. weather. First day of fall. Lacoste. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Size small. Okay. 
Oh, dang you guys, this is good. We're getting scarves. Silk, I think. Feels like silk. That's a pretty scarf. I mean, what, what do I know? <laughs> That's... Uh, what, I'm, talk, I'm talking on my butt right now. I don't know what's nice. I see nice stuff. I show Jana. She's like, mm, not impressed. And then I say other stuff. I'm like, well, whatever. And she's like, oh, that's really nice. And I'm like, what? This is cool right here. This is uh, Vanity Fair size small. I know you guys are like, what are you talking about, Jack? But Vanity Fair. I thought I heard some crinkle, crinkle. I did not. The elastic's good in that. That's, I think, a vintage piece right there. We do sell that stuff on our eBay store. Vintage underwears is like a good market. Believe it or not. There's another scarf with some really nice embroidery. Again, with the really nice locker nuts. Stop talking. Acute, it says it is 100% silk and it's made in Japan. Nice. Another one. I'll leave the nice out. I'll just say another one. That's... What is this? Okay, wait. That could be something good right here. Or it could be nothing. Hmm. Okay, I don't see a designer name. No tech. Wait, 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 back it up. Art of the Scarf by the Tyrak. Never mind. <laughs> I don't. It's nice, but it's not like a designer. I thought maybe it was something super good. A little Hawaii thing. Some gloves. Some more gloves. Brand new. With some warm faux fur inside. It's made by Head. It makes some good ski products. Oh, what's this? This is VR goggles and some reading glasses, perhaps? Design optics. Uh, I don't know. But this right here. Samsung. This is just the kind where you put the phone inside, right? It's not real VR. It's like faux VR. You put your phone right there and just... Yeah. Still cool. Still cool. Just not like a... It's not like an Oculus. Oculus is so dope. What is this? What is that? Oh, some kind of car carrier. I don't know. A toy. It's a toy, basically. Here's a little car. Hot Wheels. Super Volt 2014. Cool. Alright guys, I think that's it. Alright, let's face it. That was really good. But the reason I went through it is so I can get this get to this right here. Okay. Okay. That's not light. That's heavy. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. Okay, two boxes. Does that mean that there are two lightsabers? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, maybe. Or no, that's just the display. Ooh, when we looked these up earlier, we saw the really expensive one in the display. Right? Okay, so there's the display. What's this? Let's get this right here. Oh, this could be good. Why am I whispering? I don't know. 2003. Star Wars. <laughs> in my head's all... Da -da -da. Okay. Certificate of Authenticity. Don't think that sheds too much light on it. There was a lot of different ones, all Obi-Wan. That could be a lot of different things, basically. There's a registration card. I don't see, like, the part... Wait, is the part number on here? I don't remember. SW-109. Okay. That's probably what we need. Oh, yeah, right here. Right there. I think I looked that up. I think I saw it in the photo, and I looked it up. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember how that one placed on the value. I just remembering that now. Because I think I researched that when I was earlier considering bidding on this locker. Okay. Nice box, right? Super nice box. It's got like a real like nice feel to it. Okay. Yes. Oh man, this is really cool. Whoa, it's really heavy. So we found some Master Replica lightsabers in the train locker. They were sold for I think a couple hundred bucks each, I forget. But uh, they were had the full lightsaber, the tube and everything. This one is just this part of the lightsaber. And <laughs> right away I was like, oh man, they messed it up. But no, that's the way it's supposed to look. That's like a intended weathered look on it. I'm nearly positive. That's freaking dope. And it goes in that display case. This is a really nice piece. That's a beautiful piece right there, guys. And I'm really happy that was in here. Because that was my biggest fear about this locker is that these are going to be some empty boxes. Okay, here's what this looks like all set up in the display box. It is a cool piece, I must admit. I think this is a cool piece. This is like a prop replica right here. So this is, I think, as close to the original piece that they used in the movies for Obi-Wan's lightsaber. This is as close as it gets. It is, ex I mean, not like it's extremely heavy. I'm not going to be curling with this thing or anything, but it is uh, definitely heavy. 
All right, there's no plastic in here. This is, this is like, I don't know, it's impressive. Now hold it in your hand, it's impressive. All that weathering is indeed meant to look that way to give it a weathered, used look uh, for the movies. And the, the replica here stays consistent with that. Such a neat piece, guys. I'm going to put on the screen the comps on this, and uh, this one is kind of all over the board. I'm not even sure how much we're going to get for it. Um, but this company, Master Replicas, went out of business, and their stuff, especially the higher-end stuff, and this I think is considered one of their higher-end pieces, is becoming extremely collectible. We got a good piece right here. Very good find. And here is the Certificate of Authenticity, basically. Official Prop Replicas. It's really nice stuff. 2003. I don't see on here any indication of how many were produced. I'll have to look that up. Whew, nice stuff. Okay, hey guys, we're two for two right now on the these boxes. Two for two. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that one's light. Isn't it? Wait. Okay, Justice League Animated Batman Marquette. I don't think this is in here. But it's sealed. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what? It's sealed. Okay, maybe it's not. Let's see. Uh... It's not terribly heavy, but it's not terribly light either. Sometimes the packaging, because it's such high quality packaging, that's heavy and misleading. Uh, but this one, mm. I don't think this has ever been opened. It must be in here, right? What the heck? There's four of them here. What is this? Some kind of Batman dolls, and there's four of them. He bought four. Can you guys see through that? Batman. Maquette. Maquette. In DC Direct. I don't want to take it out of this paper right here. I don't know if there's a collectability factor to having it in that tissue. I don't think so. Okay, this one right here is torn a little bit. See that? Probably when they're packing it away. Let's do it. Let's just open it. <laughs> Whoa, okay, 90 bucks US. Hand-painted cold cast porcelain maquette. Limited edition, only 8,500 made. That seems like a lot to me, but... Maybe not. Uh, okay, that's cool, whatever. I'm not going to open the box, but we at least got a little more info on it. So there's four of them. They were 90 each, brand new. 360 bucks. Maybe they're worth more. But, eh, I saw comics and I thought maybe comic books. It would be great if that was a big case of something good. Still, I'm happy. Oh, right there, Batman Marquettes. Okay. Now, this right here. Vampirella Premium Format Figure Exclusive. This one is also sealed, guys. I'm pretty sure this is going to be in here, right? Okay guys, we're getting down to it. Really interesting, kind of interesting. I need more info before I'm interested. <laughs> Let's get in here right here. This is a nice tote. Oh! <laughs> oh! 